Okay, so this particular arrangement came about from my experimentation with the electromagnetic effects. And you know, I've always loved the Jewel Ringer circuit because of its simplicity, a transform or a transistor, and you're good to go. No resistors or anything of that nature needed. Now in this particular arrangement, we can even eliminate the transistor. So I was experimenting with this pot core, noticing you know, that when I short this side and energize it as electromagnet and release the energy, it would continue to hold energy. While in doing that, I decided to connect a load. You know, One thing led to another, and I came up with this arrangement, which is really the fun of experimenting. You never know uh, where your exper experimentation will lead you. But in this case, let me show you what it came up with. So we've got our carbon uh, rod right here with the positive from the battery coming in. It's connected to a wire at the base so I can bend this and adjust it a little bit. And I've sanded the top of the carbon rod into a uh, point there. And you lightly touch this piece of co copper wire to that carbon. That forms the connection to your primary. Now it sets up an oscillation there that will keep the circuit running. And uh, let me just connect it up and show you what I mean. So let me focus the camera here. Okay. So there we go. It's off and running. And uh, you know, I've tested the milliamp draw on this and it's comparable to a jewel ringer. Sometimes it goes down quite low, you know, 30, 40 milliamps, depending on the distance spacing you have there, you can control the oscillation. And uh, it's quite nice bright light at 30 to 40 milliamps. So, you know, I've been quite impressed with just how simple this arrangement is and yet what it's able to do. So I'll continue to experiment with this as well. But at this point, I just wanted to document it, share it for uh, those who may be interested. And of course, you can put a, a capacitor here at this side. I've already experimented with running it off a, a super, super capacitor. It does run down right now in this configuration to about 2.5 volts. So, you know, it'll run your load and discharge a capacitor fairly nicely. So it's definitely uh, worthy of more uh, research and experimentation. Let me see if I can adjust the attention here and show you some of the different, okay, I'm backing off here. You can hear the oscillation is less. Now I'm gonna increase it and you can hear it go right up like a, a jewel ringer. So you can basically adjust this circuit just by adjusting the pressure against the uh, copper wire there. So very, very interesting. So again, love the simplicity. The transistorless jewel ringer <laughs> has that for a name. So yeah, anyway, uh, you just never know what you'll discover and uh, this is probably going all the way back to the very beginning of, uh, you know, transformer technology and design with an arrangement like this. But I never really experimented with, uh, you know, eliminating the transistor and getting a switching transformer circuit with something this simple. So just wanted to share that. Let's all keep experimenting. Um, I'm sure some folks will ask for a schematic in the video description. Again, it's not really necessary. You got your primary, your secondary. Between your primary and one of the connections, you put a piece of carbon, lightly touch the copper wire to that. That's really all there is to it, folks. It's incredibly simple. In this case, it's probably about, oh, I don't know, 10, 20 winds on the primary side and 100 to 200 on the secondary side. All of that can be tuned and adjusted, but just wanted to share. All right, we'll talk later.